Hi everyone, this is Brandon here. So looks like we have made our way back to champions at 3,203 trophies. So we started off at 300 trophies today and then uh, we defended all the way to 2,100. So uh, starting off at crystal 2,100, we push all the way to where we are right now with roughly 12 hours uh, of effort. So uh, now we will look at my defense lock. As you can see, I have won many, many, many defenses. But uh, you can see the first one on the top I lost to that particular person. As you can see, the second last defense, it was a uh, 49%. The guy gave me a shield and that was in the Crystal League. And I stopped at 2100. That was when I was still sleeping. So when I woke up, I started to push my trophies all the way. And eventually I got attacked by this guy. I had to go for auto defend at roughly, I think, Master 2 or Master 1. So this guy attacked me. And then... Um, he two start my base, which was pretty surprising to me because uh, not many must. I mean, being in Master League, I was quite surprised that someone would two start my base. But uh, we will look at the replay as seeing how he attacked. So he deployed two wizards at the bottom, trying to take out the gold storage as usually what people would do. So using uh, golems, wizard, and uh, some wall breakers, he's using four golems with a charm spell, and uh, his king and queen are level forty. So maybe that's the thing that made him uh, secure that the, the town hall itself so my cc came out he dropped a lightning spell to take out the witches which is a very good uh, zap notice that his wizards are actually level 5 but his king and queen are actually max which really is quite interesting and also his spells in max his lightning is level 4 and his jump spell is only level 2 so take into consideration that jump spell the max level is level 3 he isn't max but uh, his heroes are max so it's pretty good so I'm quite impressed by this particular attack using 4 golems but uh, only 1 jump. So yeah, that's it for my defense. Now we will proceed into looking at my attacks of what I've been doing and how I attacked. So we will look at the attack log. As you can see, I've been scoring uh, quite okay, not uh, very very good up to my normal standard. Uh, usually doing around 50 plus percent only, not too high. So as you can see, I didn't use a Gova V wipe. I was using a Go V wipe. So I used a, a lot of wizards this time, roughly twenty four to twenty six, depending on what's in my CC. As uh, I was just trying to conserve more dark elixir, as I was depleting on my dark elixir a lot. Roughly, I had like two thousand left, so I started to farm a bit. As now you can see, it's at eighteen thousand. So using uh, more wizards instead of more witches and valkyries, your dark elixir, you can actually farm a bit and replenish a bit of it. So we will look at one of the attacks that I'd like to show you guys, which is this one. Um, it's a 33 couple. So I found this base, uh, there's no king and queen. So this particular layout, I don't really quite like to attack this layout as it's like a square, but like a diamond particular shape, but quite hard to attack, especially with the combo that I have. So the CC came out and it came out all balloons and I was a little worried as the balloons might drop and kill my wizards. That's the main thing that I was being, uh, being concerned of. So then I decided to just whack through the base. So looking at the inferno has looked onto the golem instead of my king so I didn't freeze it up. So now when uh, the king has taken out the town hall together with the help of the archer queen, I uh, decided to use his rage right now to take out some of the storages. I needed to replenish my dark elixir as mentioned as it was really really running low so just continuing to just take out some of the structures and then looking at this not being uh, be able to 3 star I just ended the battle so that was when I was still in master as you can see on the league over there so now we will proceed to see this particular uh, attack that I would like to show you guys also uh, we won't see the second one that one is just a town hall snipe uh, fine we can just take a look at it I mean some of you just want, might want to see some uh, high people over there putting their town halls so just snipe the town hall so that's just it very very fast so yeah you get, uh, you get 9 trophies just sniping a town hall which is really a lot and of course from the loot the bonus is really high so yeah we will talk about this base this base uh, I was a little worried when I was using this army combo because I know in that drainage over there between the motor where the tesla just sprung up there must be a giant bomb over there so I was right so I was uh, a little careful about dropping my wizards too early 
So as you can see now I'm dropping all my other troops. The CC has came out all archers and some minions. So dropping a lightning spell to take out some of the troops. And now the queen has targeted my BK. So now my Barbarian King has taken out the opponent's Archer Queen, which is good. So I decided to drop a freeze on the Mountain Inferno as I didn't want it to take out most of my wizards. Then I dropped my Rage Spell, which was kind of a fail Rage, rage Spell. I thought my Queen would actually jump in to take the Town Hall or something, but she didn't. Because uh, the inside of the base, they had uh, some skeletons, so I thought they, she would be lured into it. So I was <laughs> wrong, apparently. So yeah, this base uh, is ready to start, so we just continue to watch it as the back car just continue uh, destroying some of the outside buildings just taking taking more percentages just scoring up to even 65% uh, for us so yeah we've reached champion with this particular attack okay so yeah as mentioned I'm in Mega Empire Asia and I'm warring with them right now just started a war search like roughly two hours ago so as you can see all of us are Town Hall 10 most most uh with max heroes also but um there are some uh, who ain't uh, really max at the bottom but we of course work together as a clan and as a team to get more stars and of course win the war so we are matched against this clan name which i can't really pronounce phrases the armies so uh if you look at the enemy's clan it's actually from France, so I assume that's a French word or something, which I'm not sure whether I pronounce it correctly or whatsoever. So yeah, we will look at the enemy's base. Um, hopefully, we will be able to see whether they are on par with our base or not. So as you can see, the number one is a maxed out base. Uh, even the walls are also maxed. The second is also maxed out, except some of the walls on the left side, which doesn't uh, affect that much i mean the wars doesn't really play that much honestly speaking i mean when you use a jump spell and even a level 11 war doesn't make much of a diff unless you are really going for 100 percent and the last few seconds really do uh, play a part so as you can see the top four bases they are basically all maxed out so yeah we are we are also maxed so don't worry about it as uh, we will I, I will update you guys about the war Hopefully, I will show you guys some live footage or whatsoever if we are doing really well. So, we will see as how we go for the next uh, video or so. So, with that said, I'd like to thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to subscribe also for those people who haven't and clash on.